So, hello, welcome and welcome back. My name is Lulu and today I'm going to bring some summer graphic novel recommendations. You know, nobody asked for them, but here I am giving them to you anyway. I love graphic novels, but as I kind of made this list, I noticed that I actually haven't read too many graphic novels with like a theme of summer, which poses as a problem because most of the graphic novels I have read actually take place during the school year, which is fine, but... Oh, wow. So without further ado, here are three graphic novels that I recommend you read before the school season starts and you have to ground down and you have to forget summer and what the break is like because you are now working for another couple of years or if you go to school at all. If not, and you just want to have some summer reads before the fall season begins, that's also totally valid. I... Are you out there? Go away! I'm trying to film! You're making me self-conscious! Fine. You can come in if you want, but you can't give me weird looks. The first book recommendation I have is Bloom by Kevin Panetta and Savannah Gaucho. This book is about two boys who meet over the summer. There it is, the summer theme. And it features the first boy. The main character's name is Ari. Ari, Ari. Ari is in a band and he wants to be with his band and get away from his family, his hometown. He wants to become famous with his band. Doesn't want to be with his family business, which is a bakery. So he meets Hector because they're hiring people to help out with the bakery since it's kind of dying a little. So Hector comes along and he's completely different. He's moving in, he looks at the bakery and he's like, yes, I love to bake, so this is what I want to do with you. So that's what Hector does. He signs up and then he starts working at the bakery with Ari. As the two take care of the bakery together and they run it, they get to know each other a little better and start to notice how much they compliment one another and how happy they are with each other as they bake together or simply just being together. At the end, there's even a recipe for you to do if you want to try making bread because you know I am totally down for some good food if you know what I mean. It is a longer graphic novel though, but it's still a quick read with a lot of cute romancy elements along the way and you get really good summer vibes. And I also have to include that the artwork is amazing. It's so adorable. It's like a blue and white and gray type thing. I don't remember if it has black, but either way, it's still a really nice book for you to read over the summer and get those summer vibes. The second book recommendation I have for you today is Honor Girl by Maggie Thrash. If you're looking for a book that's a little deeper and it goes into more themes than the lighthearted romance type element, I recommend you read Honor Girl. It's a graphic novel memoir about this girl who goes to summer camp and it's kind of a, I think it's a religious camp. She starts to notice that she likes one of the counselors there and she can't do much about it because the camp is pretty religious and it would be frowned upon because it's more of a conservative type camp. So it's pretty much just her memoir about her conflicted feelings about this and her identity, finding it through the summer and stuff. The third and last book recommendation I have is The Prince and the Dressmaker by Jen Wong. I know what you might think, wait, but I don't think this is very summery. I mean, it's a good way to escape before you have to get down into reality and the school year and focusing on studies or whatever you have to do while you're at school. It's a very wholesome read about a boy who's a prince uh, trying to navigate his identity and how he feels about himself and how the world might view him. The dressmaker who helps the prince find his identity and it's so so wholesome. I definitely recommend it. The art is super cute and it's so adorable and it's extremely immersive. So you just fall into this world and you just feel what the characters feel through those pictures, how he has to navigate the world. All of the characters are cinnamon rolls as well, even the father. He's such a good dad. I love at the end, you'll if you read the book. It's so cute. 
And yes, those are my three recommendations for you to read before the hard grinding down of the school year begins. Tell me what books or graphic novels you would recommend me read before the summer because clearly I haven't read enough before I start. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!